If businesses are opened up, should customers, patrons, and employees be required to follow social distancing and safety guidelines for at least the next few months? Or should decisions about masking, spatial distancing, seating, and or standing capability, capacity be made by each individual or business owner as they see fit? Now, that is a great question in a mixed economy because almost everybody is going to answer, oh, no, no, they should be required to follow social distancing requirements, safety guidelines, because after all, we don't allow people to smoke in restaurants. We regulate restaurants in a million and, and stores and everything else and human behavior generally in a million different things in order to protect individuals from themselves. We don't allow people to choose for themselves anything. So why would the coronavirus be any different? So I think many people on the right would actually argue for opening up, but regulating it, but, but controlling it. And if they're not, if they're not, then they're hypocrites, right? You know, then, then are they gonna allow restaurants to make this choice? Are they gonna allow businesses to make this choice? I get to that point in a second. So my answer to this is, of course, of course, it shouldn't be dictated by the government. Of course, this should, is a decision that should be left to business owners and to customers. And if customers don't like the social distancing um, rules established by the business, they don't have to go there. They don't have to go there. It is the business that should determine what kind of, whether you should wear a mask or not, whether you should, what the distance should be from patron to patron. Some businesses are going to be more conservative than the government. Some businesses are going to be less conservative than the government. Some businesses might be completely irresponsible. And then it's the job of, if you will, the job of customers to regulate the businesses by saying, oh, you're going to be irresponsible. We're not going to come. We're just not going to show up. So, I'm for liberty, I'm for freedom. Businesses and customers should make these decisions. Now note that underlying this question is an assumption that says people cannot make decisions for themselves, they're not rational enough, they're not responsible enough, and you need a government, you need a central planet to tell them how to behave, what to do. That's underlying this and you'll see that throughout. Okay. So that's question number one, is I leave it to businesses and customers and let businesses and customers deal with it as they will. And I encourage people, I would encourage people to be rational. This is a real disease. Some people are super vulnerable to it. Others, not so much. You know, somebody told me this today. True fact, statistical fact. It is just as likely in Pennsylvania for somebody 40 or younger to die from coronavirus. And it is as it is. So if, if you just look at the distribution of people who die, there are about as many people who've died of coronavirus under the age of 40 as they are over the age of 100. Now, the population of people over 40 is much larger than the population of people over 100. And yet, and yet, it's the, 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 the number of people died over 100 is, is the same as the number of people died under 40. This is a disease of old age. I've said this all along. I've been talking about this for two and a half months. And they are the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable group is the group that typically doesn't go to work. That typically, you know, that certain subsection of them doesn't go out that much either. They're less likely to be in restaurants. They're less likely to be in shops. And then you have to decide, based on facts, how risky it is for everybody else. But people don't want to hear that.